Bishop Cotton School is one of a handful of private schools built by the British and the oldest in India. It's the first day of term for English teacher John Whitmarsh Knight and the new intake of boys, India's future elite. You are only lending them to us for nine months of the year. Uh, I say this year in and year out. You give us a boy, we give back to you a man. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you. Please sit down. Julius Caesar, Act 3, Scene 1, page 42. John was born in India before independence and has watched institutions like the railways and the schools as they pass to Indian control. The reasons for doing Shakespeare in school, investigation, interpretation, imagination, and information linkage. Those are the skills that will enable you to survive after you leave school. Make no mistakes about it, you're going into a war zone and you will need those skills to survive, okay? School days in Shimla have hardly changed in a century. Boarding far from home is a tough rite of passage. We were in boarding schools. I hated it. Cried myself to sleep all night. <laughs> but by next morning, you had a choice. You either went on crying or you just got on with life. Both I'm missing my mother also and my father also. I don't know how it, I will pass this eight weeks. Hurry up, go to your bed now. Hurry up, hurry up. Good night, everyone. Good night. After a life spent travelling around the world, John Whitmarsh Knight has also decided to stay. He now feels he belongs in the country where he was born. I never, I, I never realised how deep the feeling was to be needed, one. And having lived as a, worked as a businessman, which is a pretty take-take situation, now it's a give-give situation, and that is refreshing. I had no idea it would grip me like this. For over 150 years, Bishop Cotton School has been educating the country's leaders. Fluent in English, familiar with Shakespeare, but now all Indian. And for almost as long, the train has ferried them up and down the line. For the next seven years, Bishop Cotton will be home for these new boys. First two, three days were difficult for me, but now it is all right. Uh, I will be okay here. I will be a gentleman and I will leave the school. I really feel, yeah, I'm totally at home. And it's, and it is remarkably rewarding, it really is. As they say, carry me out feet first. The last Englishman in India. <laughs>